action. Very, very, very good. Yes. So that's the action, what actually happens on count four, one. hip drop rotation. Now you should start first with the side step. So from the <coughs> from the position of the rotation, yes, already you drop your hip and rotate your hip. Now we're gonna take a side step. Our hip is very nice, beautiful. Now control that you're going to the neutral position when your two hip bones are straight. Now lower your left hip bone, that's it. And now do the rotation on your stanza leg, but still keep this bone down, 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 down during the rotation. Very nice. Now other side, the same. Hip lift, we already have it. Neutral hip drop. And now keep this, push this hip down while you do the rotation. Yes. So you have to also control really this action. When you lower your hip bone and before you go into the rotation, you think you help yourself. Uh, not logical for me, but you're, you're trying to bring your hip up. It will be much, much easier for you to create the rotation when you're still lowering this hip bone down and you feel more grounded action. You feel much more better connection with the floor. So <clears throat> before the rotation, don't, you don't need to do this additional action and lift your hip up. Yeah, just keep it, push it, push it down, 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 and create your rotation on your standing leg. Very, very good. Now, let's try to connect it out to our Roomba walk. It's pretty really simple, right? <laughs> sure. Let's make a circle. <laughs> so, right now, when we're gonna take a step, yes, from the rotation, so already prepare yourself into the rotation position, uh, if you step with your right foot forward, feel that your right hip bone is maximum down to the floor. So with the hip, you connect to the floor. You connect the pressure to your foot through your hip. That's your center, that's your body weight. That's a heavy part of your body. So you have to lower it down to the floor. Now when you move the foot, you feel the connection with your body weight on the leg. If you keep your hip neutral or high, the, the leg is light, so you never know <clears throat> will you be balanced in the next few seconds or not. Yeah, so you have to lower your hip bone and when you take a step, keep this hip down and your left hip is naturally, automatically going up. Now we're going through the neutral to our hip drop. Very nice. And now, as long as you start to lower your left hip, yes, your back foot hip, do the rotation. Very nice. And keep this hip down, down, down. Take a step, hip lift, neutral, hip drop, uh, rotation. Step, hip lift, neutral, hip drop, uh, rotation. And two, and three, and four. Forward. Now, that's the also when I start to count and when I start to speed up, yes, I'm trying to prepare you for the music, yes, and for the be, uh, regular timing. We never count uh, rumba, I mean, we can count, but that's not real, not really right uh, count. Two, three, four, one. Because two, three, four, that's count, that's a full count. Only time your foot, only time the steps. Count in, it's a half of beat. It's for your hip action or body action or any other action. So when we count, usually in Roomba, two, it's just body weight transferring. We don't have any action. So with the step, we not create already any hip action. We just two, we just step. Now count in. That's the timing where you have to do your hip action and rotation on up. And then again, three, 
it's just step so during this step you just have to feel the hip lift that's all and now when I count end that's the hip lowering and rotation two step only with the hip lift already now I count and you have a hip action and and rotation three and two and three and two and three and two and three and two and three and two very good and three and two and three and yes very 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 nice so it's the same like when you see the musicians yes and they have um, the note right when they play the music they have a structure they have a timing yes so the same situation with our room balls with our steps every count two three four full count is just a step and it's your hip action step and only then it's your hip action mm -hmm. now and small uh, trick about the four one hip action right now what we're gonna do is you I will still stay in the center can you show me Kukaracha? What is the Kukaracha? Kukaracha is number eight. Uh, we create the number eight in our hips. That's right. Very good. Yes. Now, uh, promise me that you're doing this Kukaracha only in your hips. No upper body, no shoulders. Yes, try to just do the rotation in your hips. Only hips. That's right. Very, very good. So you rock your hip to the right and to the left. To the right, to the left, to the right, to the left. Now, turn your feet, let's say turn your feet to the right. Try to do the same kukaracha. Yes, very, very good. Yes, so use right now in the step four. Now, come back to the side step, do the kukaracha to the side to side. Now, turn your feet to the left. And continue to do the same kukaracha, but keep your knees straight. Keep your knees straight. Okay. Yes. And when we're doing kukaracha side to side, we're not really transferring the body weight, right? We just drop the hips. Yeah? So the same I want to see uh, when we twist our feet. I want to see the kukaracha, but you're not really transferring the body weight. It's just your hip action. That's right. Come back to the side, do the kukaracha, just your hips, only your hips. Turn your feet other side and just do the hip action. Very, very, very good. Yes. So that's the action, what actually happens on count four, one. 